Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Rainmaker. Today we're going to be talking about performing calculations in Excel in certain Excel formulas. I'm sure we all been wait we've all been waiting for something new and exciting on this channel. Okay, so today we're going to be talking about how to insert formulas, what formulas contain. So let's get right into it. Okay, so here's the data we're going to use for our calculations today. Okay, we're going to be talking about um, performing calculations in Excel using or inserting Excel formulas. Okay, all right, so um, let's quickly get to it. Basically, you wonder um, what formulas are, how do they work. It's, it's as good as what you what you know, what, um, it's as good as um, you use formulas or when you hear the word formula, what comes to mind is okay, they are a set of numbers or they are a set of formats that do things that execute that gives you a particular result. Okay, so how do we come about that? Basically, Excel formulas they perform simple calculations and they perform complex mathematical computations. Okay, so um, you can use it to perform tasks like you want to have your figures in a row, you want to multiply sales values, commission, you want to. Um, you want to apply tax to sales and every other thing you may want to do. Okay, so basically you can um, you can perform those calculations by using fixed numbers. Um, you could um, refer to values in other cells. Okay, all right. So how does an Excel formula look? Okay, so if I if just look at this formula box here, um, look at this formula bar here rather. So if I say something like um, um, equal to this plus this. Now, what you see here is equal to F23 plus G23 that you see here can be referred to as a formula, okay? So we're gonna break it all down now. So what are formulas, okay? Or how do they look, okay? They, um, you can, okay, I've said you can, um, you can enter Excel formulas directly into worksheets. That is, um, you can easily say equal to K1 or K1 plus K2 and it will also show here and it is also a formula. Note that you can use uppercase or lowercase. Don't worry, Excel is just going to automatically pick. It doesn't matter whether you write your word in the upper case and lower or uppercase. Okay, so that uh, that's how a formula look. Okay, you could you could you could have a formula by directly inserting into cells like I just uh, demonstrated, or you could um you could reference cells like what we did earlier by doing this plus this okay this means if you're if you're clicking on the cells you're talking about in the in the formula bar it means you're referencing those formulas okay all right so um so so how does an excel formula look so basically basically basic excel formulas they have the equal sign so to start the formula at all or to activate a cell or anything to start anything at all basic excel formula they have the equal sign they have constants and they have references. What do I mean? Okay, so to start with, um, let's say um, I want to write a formula now. I'm going to start with an equal to sign in any cell, equal to, then they have constants and they have um, references of a mathematical operator. So um, let me choose a reference. Okay, so I'm going to choose this figure in B21. So this is a reference, okay? This is a reference. Plus, plus there is a mathematical operator, and um, let me look for a constant. Let me say um, I want to plus it with a hundred. Okay, that is the constant, and um, so basically that's the component. Those are the components of um, of an Excel formula. So you, an Excel formula, don't forget, it has an equal sign, it has a reference, that is a mathematical operator, and it has a constant. Okay, it may it may or may not have a constant, but you. It may or depending on what you're working or depending on what you want to calculate, it can have a constant depending or it could just have references all through references and mathematical operators. Okay. Okay, so we basically defined what an Excel formula is. Alright, then another thing I have to bring to our notice is um the order of operation, the order of operation in Excel. Okay, so you remember in our arithmetic when we were younger. The order of operation they told us it was board mass, which is still true. So it is still the same, um, it's still the same approach of board mass that is um that is that, uh, that applies in Excel, okay? In um in Western education or in some other countries, they use PEMDAS, depending on where you're watching this video from. 
So um, in Nigeria, well, I suppose in Nigeria, so we, we use board mass when we install. So board mass basically stands for brackets. You post um, you deal with things in the brackets first in the mathematical equation, brackets off. Off is basically for exponential. Oh, that was the syllabus we were taught with. Off, then you go to division, division, then multiplication, multiplication. Then you have your addition and your subtraction. So basically, that's what board mass is all about. One word in school, and that is the same. That is the same order of operation that uh, applies in the Excel. So PEMDAS, so it's very similar. So you have parentheses. I think that's the spelling of parentheses. <laughs> Not so sure. And you have exponential, exponential, and you have um, multiplication, division, multiplication, multiplication, division, division, addition, and subtraction. So basically, that's what PEMDAS is all about. And um, that's what board math is. So that's the order of um, that's the order of operations in Excel. It's very similar to uh, board maths. And um, so there we define board maths and tenders. Okay, so don't forget what talked about what a formula is. A formula has an equal sign, um, it has cell references, it has mathematical operator, and it may or may not have a constant. It could have a constant. These are cell references. And this is a constant, okay? So there we have defined our formula. If I hit the enter button or if I take my cursor away to another cell, it's just gonna give me an answer, okay? Okay, so we can see that. Basically, if when you look into the formula, but that's why it's a formula by Cooper. So that is um, how a formula is written in Excel. Okay, so let's quickly go to a practical example. And um, I'm gonna create a scenario. So let's assume that you're the new admin manager in a store. And um, let's assume um, the store is an health and wellness store, okay? So they're, they're trying to introduce this new product to their, to their line, um, the health and wellness food store. Yeah, let me see that, okay? Um, it's a ready, eat, ready, to, eat, ready to eat kind of a food store. So they want to introduce all these new or new um, new lines, the cafe, the smoothies, diet drinks. Okay, so they've given you the speaker. So your boss or the MD has asked you to, um, he or she has asked you to to come up with, okay, what's their total income going to be? Okay, so this is their projected sales. Okay, these are their projected sales. These are projected sales. So they have asked you to come up with, okay, What's your profit going to look like? Okay, they've given you projected sales figures for each of the products, and they've given you total expense and giving you a tax figure. So, how do you write formulas to to arrive at your calculations? Okay, all right. So, first thing you want to do is um is get your total income. Okay, they've given these total sales figures. So, you want to know the total this sale or total sales figures per product, but you want to just because the company is asking to is asking you to give them a holistic idea. So um, you want to um, do a total income on everything. So you just come here, just write your total income, um, total income, and um, income. And th there are series of ways where you, that you can do this, but because we're only dealing with um, Excel formulas today, okay, I'm just going to go as simple and as granular as possible. In the next lesson, we're going to be looking at uncertain functions. Okay, so basically, we just with what we have um, I've explained so far, that's what I'm just going to apply here. Okay, as time goes on, we'll do some um, more, faster methods. We use faster methods. We use more complex methods and all to arrive at answers. Okay, so basically, from our definition, I said a formula has um, uh, it has an equal to sign, it has mathematical operators, it has um, cell references or the ones you, you, you entered, and it has constants. Okay, so um. One of the total income, which is the summation of all this of all these figures. Okay, so going by that simple definition of using references and um, of mathematical operators and equal to sign. So this is what we're going to just do: is equal to this. And the mathematical operator we want to use because we're looking for total is addition, the plus sign. So plus this plus this plus this plus this. Don't worry. 
it doesn't have to be this uh, <laughs> tedious when we get in certain functions we will look at but we can use the sum function we can use <laughs> we can use the auto sum function we can use some other things to quickly do this instead of having to enter references one after the other so this is the formula you have created it is important this is formula you have created for total income it's important to know this step by step process because there are times for auto sum it's going to do um if, because we're trying to okay let's not just go ahead of ourselves because we're going to be using more complex formula drop maybe it will be a little bit uh if we're going to be using functions it may uh it may your calculation if your figures are not in one place if they are scattered all over the page or everywhere so okay so um that's why it's good to understand how to put formula so for example let's say your figures were not put together on a single row like this you have to understand that yes you can so let's say another product is on another page or on another cell you can easily you can easily click on that cell and keep adding keep clicking let's say they are just scattered or they are probably just even in another sheet you can just keep clicking and you know just keep keep clicking keep clicking and it keeps adding up so you can see that it, it is really adding in this formula bank okay so we'll go back to our page you can see that it's really adding there you can press your equal to but because that those are not the figures we need so i'm just going to go back to i'm just going to erase the ones i do not need that is all part of this calculation i'm trying to do okay so that one stops at d21 okay so in that case since this is all i really need to do i'll just hit the enter button and it will give me my answer so the total income for all those products is 836,670. okay um i didn't put the naira sign but we know that i'm talking about money <laughs> all right so 836,670 is the total um so so in case you don't know how it, the way formulas help in case you don't know how this 836 form by you can double click on this and it will show you all it will show you yeah, this is what i had it up to arrive at this okay so you click it to enter button again so i'm so tempted to put this in um i'm so tempted to put it in um what's it called now in nigerian currency so that we all know that we're talking about so that what we all know that we're talking about money um, so, because if you are an admin person or you are the sales manager in a store, you want to make your data or whatever you're doing be clear to your boss as much as possible. All right, so this looks more like money. All right, so this is a total income figure. You know, since your, your boss wants you to do, um, give them a, a, a list, an holistic idea, you may have, you may want to go in it so that. It's um it screams that oh madam or, or that this is what you want and um, that is what this bold line is talking about. All right, so now well it's not total income they want. They want you to give them an idea of the profit. But from your elementary accounting knowledge, you know that before you can arrive at profit, you have to you have to list all expenses, whether um cost and admin expenses and every other administrative, you have to list all the administrative expenses associated with product. You have to list all the um cost of goods sold, basically. So um well your your manager or your boss has been able to provide you data. So they have told you that the total expense is one hundred and fifty thousand and they told you that the tax that usually would apply is twenty percent. Okay. 20% of your gross profit. So, okay, so um, I'm not going to go into details of accounting, so I'm just going to go straight up. So, for, you now want to do, so they've given you a figure for your total expense. So, you will now say, by the time you want to list your total expense from your total income, so what you're left with is more like um, total ex. In this case, you want to, um, this total expense is comprising of, let me, is comprising of your cost of goods sold and admin expense, your, your all other admin expenses, maybe um, that's taken into consideration salary of workers, um, stationaries, um, logistics, every other expense is put in here, cost of goods sold. So they give me the total total expense they've said it is 150,000 so what you're left with is by the time you remove this 150,000 for your 836,000 what you're left with is 
profit before tax okay so you could easily just put it here profit before tax which is pbt okay we're not going into um accounting so we won't um maybe when we get to courses or courses when we're talking about videos when we're talking about uh, what's it called when we're talking about uh, um account statement i'm sorry financial statements of the company will be able to trash um those ones in real life but these are foundational these are foundational trainings and tutorials okay so profit before tax so your profit before tax is now going to be this year either the six thousand minus one fifty thousand that you've been given and then again you want to write a formula so you start with your equal to sign and your total income which is your d22 minus your 150,000, then you it's your bottom, and you have your total profit before tax figure to be 800 and um, 686. Sorry, 686,670 naira. Okay, so now, but yet you've not even gotten the answer. Your boss wants your boss wants to know what's the actual profit, the real profit itself. You know, this is a profit before tax, it's not a true picture of um, it's not a true picture of um what is coming to the um to the to the company's pocket so we want to do profit after tax profit after tax okay, which is you know that as VAT in your part okay all right so your profit after tax is gonna be um your profit before tax less your okay by the way when I say less it means your profit, it means subtract. <laughs> okay, so your profit after tax is going to be your profit before tax less your tax go. Okay, so before we, I'm just going to insert another row here and I'm going to put tax amount, the tax figure, tax. Okay, so um, so you want to know what your tax figure is. Now, your tax figure, um, they've given you the variable, um, they've given you the percentage of tax, which is said your tax amount is going to be 20% of your profit. So, and you know this is a profit before tax. So, you're just going to put that's when is equal to 20%. Don't worry, this is already in percentage. 20% of now, remember when we're writing a formula, when we're writing a formula, you know, you have to use mathematical operator. So, when you're saying 20% of something, 20% of your profit, and your profit in this case is even at 6,000 before tax. And so, you want to arrive at your profit after tax the tax amount so 20 percent off is going to be a multiplication sign multiplication that's your mathematical operator in this case and it will be 20 percent that's just your g17 that you have clicked here that you have referenced here multiplied by this 686,670. okay then you eat your enter button you can see the formula then you eat your enter button now this is your tax you go 137,334 naira okay so now you now want to come to the ultimate answer which is what your boss wanted in the first place okay which is the profit after tax figure okay to get your profit after tax figure it's basically your profit before tax your pbt minus your tax amount okay so they will say pbt less tax accounting <laughs> rules in the house <laughs> all right so um how you can do that is you say equal to again then Click on your 686,000, then your mathematical operator is minus the subtraction sign, and then um, 137 equal to, then you press your enter button. So here you have your profit figure to be 549,336. So you can easily and conveniently present this. You can easily and conveniently present this to your boss as your final figures for the profit after tax for the company. Okay, so at a glance, you have been able to answer your, your boss's question. You have been able to do, you have shown yourself worthy by showing the total income. You have shown profit before tax. You have given your boss's, your boss an idea or the idea of the tax amount we're going to pay after after the, um, what is it called? You have given them a, him or her an idea of the, the idea of the tax amount. And in that way, you have simplified, you have made life easier use that word easier okay so and you can present this to your boss now all right so that brings us to the end of today's class and i hope that you have a nice time the next the next tutorial we're going to be talking about inserting functions to perform calculation in excel so till then i'm going to say thank you and i will look forward to seeing you right